PNP, second suspect in Sealy Pong's last, not son of Narothan bomber, Manila, Philippines the second suspect in the twin blast said a military camp in Indanan, who is not the son of the Narothan suicide bomber who attacked a military checkpoint in Lamadan City, Baffling last year, Philippine National Police, PNP, Chief Jeng. Oscar Aldi Wall said Thursday. Aldi Wall said a DNA test conducted by the PNP Crime Laboratory on the pair of feet recovered at the blast site and believed to be from the second suspect did not match samples from the remains of Abu Qatar al Narabai, who detonated an improvised explosive device inside a white van on July 31, 2018. 3. Base Doom Saw Laboratory of Crime Lab, Magnetic Result Neon. Young Allegations Mat. Ian, can be positive on left, where bracket based on laboratory tests of the crime lab, the result was negative. Those allegations are not true right square bracket, he said in a press briefing at Penn Train. While this suspicion has already been cleared, all the all, said authorities still cannot identify the nationality or the name of the second suspect. He said the situation is different from the case of 23, Tyson year old Norman Ujuta believed to be the first suicide bomber on the June 28 attack, who was confirmed to be Filipino based on a DNA test with samples of a woman who claimed to be his mother. 3. Lieutenant Colonel Bernalito Sodichana, commander of the Armed Forces Western Mindanao, command, earlier said that the presumption that the second bomber was Moroccan came from the dual assessment of ground troops. He said they also based the presumption on an old video showing two Moroccan boys, then aged 9 and 11, were left in the care of Kata to John Salwatan, a sub-leader of the Abu Seychef in Sulu province. The boys were believed to be left behind by Abu Qatar al Marabai before carrying out the bombing in Lamadan City last year, killing himself and 10 persons. 3. AFP Chief of Staff Jen. Benjamin Madrigal had also earlier described the second suspect, who wore a black shirt and a bonnet during the attack, as a short man but said ground troops were not sure if he was indeed a young man. The military earlier reported that the first bomb went off as they were inspecting Ujuta, a suspected member of the Abu Seisha, at the gate of the camp of the 1st Brigade Combat Team. This is when the second bomber then ran inside the camp. Soldiers fired at him, but at the moment his body hit the ground, the IED he was wearing also went hot. Authorities said the twin bombings have killed seven persons and injured 22 others. Flash, thank you for watching. Please subscribe.